uh, the rain's lightening, lightening up a little bit here, which is good. Um, I'm trying to track down where my route starts. I was, I was like almost 30 kilometers from where it wants to start the route. So I could be going a total of 60 clicks out of my way for all I know. This is going to be just so much fun. Great if you like iron butt challenges. So I'm just trying to track and strictly use the beeline from where I was to where the route is that I put in. And the roads don't really want to go in the direction that it's telling me I need to go. So I'm just trying this. This is a, an experiment. And I figure, okay, if you want to, if you just have the beeline and you want to try and figure it out, I just try to keep follow the arrow. It's telling me it wants me to go that direction. Almost like compass mode in a way. And uh, in compass mode, it just points to where you got to go. And I'm just trying to decrease the distance to it. I just hope it doesn't go and en entrance onto a highway or anything. It's going to get confusing. But it's according to this 8.9 kilometer. And I'm sort of heading in the right way. I went out of my way for a bit just because the roads wouldn't go that way. And uh, we're going to see if it works. We're going to see if it can get us there. If I could just track my way. Some back road somewhere between Richie Buktu and Butouche. <laughs> somewhere in New Brunswick. Trying to find my route. It's saying I'm getting a lot closer, two and a half kilometers. Let's just hope this works out. But I'm literally nowhere. I don't know what road I am on or anything. And you know something? It got me thinking. Maybe that's more what I need to do, is stop worrying about being exactly to the plan. Yeah, I know I've got a long way to go. I know i got a lot of riding ahead of me. Uh, I know it's, it's going to be late pulling into that motel when I finally get there. But, you know, just, you got to stop saying, you know, I, I didn't leave early enough. I'm not there in time. I'm not making enough right ride in time. I'm not doing the right route. You know, I just gotta let go. You know, that's what this trip was kind of supposed to be about. And even when I uh, when I first wanted to plan it, I wonder if I should go down that way or not. Hang on. I'm gonna take a chance that this road will get there. It kind of wants to go that way, but I don't know where that road goes. This says to 505. I wonder if that's where I'm supposed to go. Anyway, see, there I am. Well, I'm still trying to figure out where the hell I'm going. But I guess what my point is, is stop worrying about it so much. Hey, hey, not bad. See, it was wide enough for me. <laughs> hey, it's better than a 27 point turn. I only had to touch a couple times. But I can't do it in two lanes. Not with this bike with this much weight on it. I just can't do it yet. Anyway, I went and I turned right here trying to track my way around and all of a sudden said, oh you're on route so I guess it could kind of work doing that as long as the roads agree so I found my way to the route lots of nice little bridges over the fjords and waterways I'm not filming them all but, but just give you an idea there's lots of stuff like this it's, it's like I'm still following the coastal route behind a couple slow guys. Okay, look, we're getting rid of one. That's good. So I just got one more in front of me. And you can either go really fast or really slow. I just passed a couple little restaurants. I probably should have stopped. But sure enough, now I'm hungry. At the bed and breakfast, he's like, sure, you don't want, you know, a bowl of cereal, something extra. Like, he just, they started me with just a little bowl of fruit. Just some strawberries and a bit of bread. <laughs> And I had that, and when I first get up in the morning, I cannot just sit down to a big meal. I just can't do it. Uh, and I, I usually start getting hungry around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And I certainly didn't want to wait till then, and so I didn't, didn't really have anything. And now, of 
purse, I'm getting hungry. But maybe there'll be a Timmy's or something like that. Who knows? Or I'll just find a restaurant and just take my chances. But I, I don't want to get a big sit-down restaurant. Cause I'll just never finish it. I just need a light meal, like a wrap or something, and I'm good. Uh, let's see what we can find. Or if I just find a pullover spot that's got a shelter, I can still make some more meat and buns. I got that on me. Ask and ye shall receive. That is exactly what I was hoping to find. A picnic table under a shelter. Perfecto. All right, let's see if I can park this bike without it falling over. It's been hard to find a good smooth surface on it. So what I find with this Africa Twin, because it likes to lean a bit or it's not stable, is you can, if you can put the kickstand down, then you're okay. But see there, I can't put it down. That means it's not going to have enough lean to be safe. So, try and find a spot where I can put it down. How about here? See, now I can put it down. And then I turn the handle a bit, and then now I know it should be leaning safely enough. <laughs> so there's your tip of the day. All right, stopping for a little break here. At least the rain's held off. I found exactly what I was looking for and I'm gonna have a little bite to eat but boy do I feel stupid it was pouring rain when I left so it's really hard to get the phone out when you're all packed up with the with the rain suit and everything so I didn't get my phone out and check and I didn't want my phone on the bike because it was pouring rain but boy do I feel stupid because I just used the beeline like I was saying to try and track my way to where the route was and so I just did it by beeline method, trying to figure it out that way by sense of direction. And look at this. That's how far I went out of my way to get on the route. Maybe I, I don't even know if I gotta put this in the video because I feel so stupid about it. But yeah, I went that far. I went all the way down. And this is exactly what I was hoping I wasn't doing. That's exactly what I ended up doing. So I went back like 15, 20 kilometers and then up. So I guess I went about 30 clicks out of my way. I think I was 30 clicks when I said I hit the route. And all I had to do was turn left instead of right when I first come out of the place. And it would have went just straight down here. And So here I got an extra long day and I just added to it. So anyway, pretty dumb, but live and learn. Now I know, always check on the phone before you try to find on your route. Obviously that does not work well. So, beeline lesson learned. So at the last place, I went through all my water and didn't refill my bottles and take them like I've been diligently doing all along. And now I have no water. So definitely top priority next convenience store or something I see. I have to get a few more. I wanted to get some new ones anyway and I think that's why I kind of was doing that. But I didn't realize I don't have any water so I can't make tea or anything like that but I do have milk so we're gonna go for a bowl of cereal that should at least keep me going until I can get somewhere else have a quick bowl of cereal and then I'll get some water. another rustic bridge but at least this one isn't metal I prefer a wooden one I get a little more grip stuck behind someone who was actually going slower than I go on the highway instead of everybody flying past me but now we're in a town so not much I could do oh yay he's turning off we're getting rid of him the rain seems to have let up for a little bit so I was able to get my visor up I put that uh, Rain-X stuff on my visor and I'll tell you right now, it doesn't work worth the shit. I still got a few other tricks up my sleeve if it gets bad. Of course I have to pull over somewhere to, to apply it. I haven't tried the shampoo trick. Rub that on the inside of the visor and then, and then buff it off and then it's supposed to prevent fogging on the inside. Let's see how that goes. Because I get that in the heavy rain. And I also got some uh, stuff that came with my helmet that's rain repellent for the outside. And I haven't tried that yet, so 
see if that all helps. But right now, the rain's let up for for a little bit, and uh, we can get a few miles down without having to battle the elements quite so much. This might look a little dumb what I'm doing, but I had to do it, and it actually worked. But I had every time you take glasses off, they fall apart. But these glasses even after a short time are starting to hurt the bridge of my nose and it's getting more and more painful it's just from the long exposure so I don't know if you could see this but I'm <laughs> trying to stick the bit of Kleenex underneath them and if I can get it just right so it'll stay it might look stupid but it actually really is helping before I get a big ass red welt on my nose on the bridge of my nose so there you see how that's in there and as long as I don't take my glasses off that's gonna protect my nose because I still got a long way to go and that's starting to hurt weird but true and the trucks don't forget the trucks lots and lots of trucks I don't know what this is all about, but it really said and on my route I had to take this little tiny side road. I didn't even see it when I was blasted down the highway. But I looked on my phone and it was like, no, you gotta go this way or you're gonna screw it all up. Wow, now this is cool. If it was calmer out, I'd seriously look for a place to drone it. Kind of these interesting waterways. Once again, just heading out east, don't know exactly where I am. Sharp bend, sharp bend, wet road. Good thing there's no traffic. There's almost always someone when you hit a bend. That was a rarity. Well, in 800 meters, I'm supposed to hang a left. This is some kind of weird shortcut, I don't know, but I checked the other way and it was gonna go way out of my way if I didn't come down this little back road. And it is my route. Saying there's food up there. Still kind of hungry. Unless that's it. <laughs> Looks closed. It said bistro, but no sign of life. And you're going to find that more and more these days. It's been a nice rustic country back road. Not much traffic. Beautiful countryside, even with the rain pretty nice. Oh, I'm still seeing the water, so I'm going along the water. It's probably the the, the waterfront road. Uh, the road's not in the best of condition. It's gotten better now. It was nothing but just tar patch everywhere, where they just kind of slap down asphalt willy-nilly wherever they feel like it, all over the place. But they don't do the whole thing, so it's just, it's like hell for a bike. Anyway, we got through that, and uh, Although I'm not going as fast, I'm enjoying the ride more, and that's what matters. I spotted a place that looks like it might work, and it's open. So let's go in and see if we can fill our belly. All right, not hungry anymore. It was a really good sort of home-cooked food, Sandpiper Restaurant. Somewhere between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. I don't know where the hell I am. Just following the route, man. I could Google it. I'm there. See on the map? <laughs> so anyway, it was pretty good. It was quite reasonably priced. And uh, the biggest problem I have is finishing it. Because when you're used to just this sort of pull over, have a picnic, and just have a quick bite here and there, you get used to not sitting down to a full meal. So then they put a full meal in front of you and it's like, oh my God, how am I gonna get through this? But anyway, I managed to finish it, most of it. It was home cooks such as, you know, if you made it in the kitchen yourself and you had everything. Soup a sandwich. Anyway, I'm back to the night vision goggles again hurting my nose but I love the vision it gives me it's really nice uh, the rain is held off but it's blustery and I managed to uh, put the jacket in the 
on the back because the jacket plus the rain suit is just swelteringly hot and it's nice to get a little bit cooler because it's not cool today at all. It's 30 degrees. So here we go. 30 degree weather. But raining and blustery and all that kind of stuff. 